Welcome back, folks, to World of Warships Legends. Today's build and play guide is going to be on the Collinwood, which is currently in the shop. Actually, I think it's in the shop most of the time now, but right now with the St. Patrick's Day event, uh, it is on actually on a discount. Uh, with that being said, let's start with the commander. Um, I use Azure Lane, New Jersey. There's a few reasons for this, and um, we'll go we'll go get into it. Now, if you don't have Azure Lane, New Jersey, right off the bat, I will tell you that outside of that, I am you would use John Fisher, um, and this is something very recently with John Fisher coming out. You see, this is just a skin on it. Um, with Sharnhorst or Cunningham as an inspiration or D. Ravel. Uh, the reason I like uh, John Fisher over Cunningham, this is the first video that I'll talk about it more, is on the British battleships having this heel in this slot, having two extra heels and making your heels even better. Uh, compared to a 3 or 4% range is a huge, huge difference maker in my opinion. So, and also the base trait is awesome on John Fisher. As you can see, it is main battery reload time. Now, if for the main line, you could go ahead and just do the AP instead of the Dancing with Death, Reformer, and a Master Mechanic. That perk is so helpful on the uh, battle of the uh, british battleships with their good heels so we'll take a look at azure lane and again for inspiration Sharnhorst and uh, d Ravel. and uh the skills that i have are flammable cannoneer a, a very big one which is a big seven um and this will help your he and your ap uh, and honestly, the uh, negative effect of the armor penetration, because these are 16 and a half inch guns, actually, in my opinion, actually does help you and uh, have much needed help from overpens on this thing. Uh, so, you know, that's that's why I choose it. I actually don't shoot HE out of it a lot. I normally use Nelson for HE cap uh, as, as an HE captain. Also... Um, with this flammable cannoneer, one thing I want to mention on the British battleships, because of the rich risk of catching fires up, it actually isn't that big of a problem, and that's because the heals are so good, and you can heal back so much more fire damage. Uh, so you're not too worried about it. And then, obviously, marksmanship. And for uh, the last skill, master mechanic, to just give this thing great heals. So... Uh, and then for your legendary perk, uh, fight fire with fire. And as you're going to see here for uh, the upgrades, or the uh, um, mods actually, it, you're going to take aiming systems mod 1, uh, steering gears mod 2. On this, shi on this ship, you could take propulsion mod. Uh, normally on battleships, I do do steering gears for the rudder. But this one, there is a actual reason, I guess, to use uh, Propulsion Mod. And then, obviously, in the third slot, you definitely want to take Concealment Mod 1. And for uh, the loadouts, five heals with this build, and it's a better heal. Two with, with having Nelson or Fisher on it, it becomes even better. Uh... It isn't like a Conqueror or Marlboro heal, but it is very good. It's still very good. And the fact you get five of them, there's going to be a lot of matches where you come out with a Dreadnought if you survive in the ship. It just, it's the way it is. They're, they're solid heals. Uh, Sonar, which honestly uh, is handier in this ship than a lot of battleships because a lot of times you find yourself... Uh, kind of being aggressive with this ship because of its speed and its ability to flank. Um, it's not terrible speed, but that's what I end up, or with a decent speed, that's what I end up doing. Um, and then the main battery uh, reload booster, which can come in quite handy on this ship. For uh, the stats, 58,000 health, which is pretty good. So once you also get them heals too, this thing is a tank. Uh, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that when we get to the armor. 
artillery. It has the 16 and a half inch guns. It reloads in 24 seconds. Um, and this thing, uh, you can start fires with it and use HE out of this thing or AP. It the AP can hit very hard if if you give it the chance to. In fact, most of the time I play this ship now, I actually use AP. AA defense, it is not ideal. It's not awful, but it's not great. You don't you don't have much help on this ship. Uh, out after two and a half kilometers, it's pretty, pretty, pretty poor, especially at the long ranges. Uh, maneuverability, 27 notch, knots, which is respectable. Uh, 800 turning circle and a 12.5 rudder shift. Concealment, 12.3. Uh, it actually is a little bit better than a lot of other battleships at the tier. Uh, but again, it's a battleship. You're not sneaking up on a dead moose in open water with it. Stats, you can see nine matches, one eat. Uh, honestly, that's probably a little distorted. I probably should have only won six out of the nine. Uh, but you can see on this, it's accurate. You know, 40% main guns. A lot of people will say it's inaccurate, but I think that's just because it just has the three double uh, turrets. I think people just, uh, you know, people kind of get the wrong impression uh, uh, when that happens. And you can see, one thing to note on this ship is you'll see the potential damage is lower than my other battleships at 600,000. And that's because I try to either sneak up or use island cover as I'm moving up. I don't hide in it, but I try to be particularly smart with this ship um, because it can uh, it can take damage but it also can get a beating as you can see the armor here um, it is very similar to the Nelson the Nelson has a better midsection uh, but once we take off this torpedo production uh, you know people will say this thing has no armor but once you take off the torpedo production you'll see it actually does have decent armor when you angle the bow is 26 millimeters, meaning bow and stern, 15-inch guns can overmatch you, which isn't actually that much of a problem in the front. Uh, as you can see, the front is quite long, and it is quite back. Where the real issue is is when you get hit on the cheek, like right under that front turret at this angle, and the big one is actually from the rear. Because from the rear, the Citadel is really accessible. Outside of this, a much more tankier ship than it gets credit for. It really doesn't get the credit for how tanky it is. We'll take it off so you guys can see the Citadel. Yes, it is a raised Citadel. But again, if you're if you're angling, and, and like I said, most problems you're going to have is if somebody gets behind you or gets a very good angle on that cheek. That's where you're going to have the most issues with it. Outside of that, uh, it's actually a lot tankier than it gets credit for. As we go ahead and start this match and check who we're up against, I do want to say it is disclaimer time. This is a beginner's guide to help out people just learning this ship or uh, learning the game in general. This is not for professional gamers that know everything there is to know about everything. There is also multiple ways to build and play ships, so opinions will vary. I am just a above average player. I don't claim to be the best player in the world. I just am a pretty darn good player, so I do make mistakes. You're going to see some in this match. And also, you didn't come to this video to see how to pronounce names, as I am very terrible at slaughtering other beautiful languages it's almost an art form so keep that in mind when you're watching this guys and here we go folks in the colin one this is actually one of my favorite tier six battleships uh particularly premium uh i i do like this one quite a bit i think i may it may get too much of a bad rap but if you're an aggressive offensive player like i am this ship can really reward you given the right circumstances. Now, of course, you can have bad games in it. Um, but 
uh, you know, most of the time you're going to do pretty well with it, especially if you get a flank in this ship. And you're going to, you know, this game is very typical of of how I play this ship. Um, you're going to see I'm going in with island cover. I'm going to do the best I can to get up close here. Uh, now, the flint here, if I remember right, we're going to have an issue with overpens a little bit. And that's one thing where this ship, that's why I don't mind that big seven penalty on armor penetration. Because you're going to see this thing overpens on everything. We just had two overpens on the Sharnhorst. Um, we're going to, you know, everything we hit on the flint is essentially going to be an overpin for the most part. Uh, you know, uh, Although I will say it with the big seven perk, it does help it quite a bit compared to being just everything being overpins all the time. Um, I'm not sure what it is about these 16 and a half inch guns, but they like to overpin a lot. Um, and if you know that, you can shoot higher up. So you're going to see uh, me even on this Sharn horse as the Sharn horse is charging in, doing what German battleship players do because uh, they want to get torpedoes off. You see, I shoot up a little bit. We get some decent damage there. Uh, still get an overpin. But as you're going to see here, I know torpedoes are coming. Like, you know, I, I popped my radar. But you'd see, I was making that turn because I knew when he made that turn, that's what was going on. He was trying to get rid of his torpedoes. Honestly, uh, this is kind of, you see this a lot from German battleships, uh, particularly Scharnhorst and... I would say Turpitz quite a bit in, in Brandenburg. Um, but anyway, as you can see, Flint is still alive out there. Um, and now we have won this side. Uh, I'm not sure who spawned over here, but they left. And I'm actually trying to go uh, dark here to go get the cap and move up a little bit. But you're going to see I go, I get spotted with a double fire. There's not a whole lot I can do about it, so I got to go start shooting again the the fires don't really bother me in this ship uh, in british battleships i'm not worried about fires you can normally heal them back really quickly uh, a lot of this help is you're gonna see all of a sudden all this damage that he did you're gonna see our uh, on our health deal or on our health bar down there you're gonna see all of it is gonna be big basically brought back to where it was before he put me on fire um, and that's that's one thing with burning in a, a, a British battleship is you, you're really not super productive when you do it. You're better off to use AP a lot of times and go ahead and just kind of uh, whittle them down on health that they can't repair as easy, like Citadel damage, etc. So you can see we healed and we have basically went back to exactly the health before he started shooting or you know he hit me now we're still spotted here i'm okay with that i'm trying to get rid of maya and uh we're gonna push this flank because we're gonna have a lot of good crossfire if we can do that and that's a lot of what this game is particularly in battleships is getting crossfire he either has to angle to the, my teammates across the map which he was doing order to me he doesn't have much of a choice you see we do get the citadel and take him out and um this ship in particular with that that little big seven armor penetration perk uh i noticed i was doing a lot a lot more full penetrations and less overpens with it and i i do really uh like that on this with the you know this is very much like a nelson the differences it has for the the main ones are the guns are bigger and the armor is a little bit better on the nelson but uh, so if you're kind of debating between the two this is kind of an offensive version of nelson and nelson is more of a defensive version of this ship um, but as you see our teammate team lost the c so i'm working on that and you can see we have a battleship on the other side of b um and we we flint is now gone uh the one thing i would have had hope for is my teammate to go in and take b now there is a battleship going in there to take it um th but at this point right here we have the lead and this is where i see a lot of people 
uh, make too many mistakes. So uh, you'll see that I I quit charging in. You're going to see all these guys are about the same distance. So if I'm not careful, as we see, the uh, ranger is there. Um, and we take a shot there. But you're going to see, I'm going to enter everybody's range at the same time. And that's not something I particularly want to do. Um, but you're going to see, uh, you know, I'm trying to stay back. I'm going to let the team bag, teammates know, hey, listen, there's no reason to lose this. We, let them come to us. Right? So, um, but you're going to see one of the teammates, they be out by Aaron, is just going to charge in and not last long and that's one thing i wanted to say it's not a rip on any player is if you have a lead uh and you've put yourself in a good position wait for the team to come to you they have to come to you unless you go you know unless you have teammates charging at them as you see we had you know the Bayern goes in but there's no reason to go charge these guys on their side of the map while they have island cover in this particular scenario. If I go and move up, I'm in range of everything. You can see right now, I do see the carrier and I understand that that would be huge to go get him out of. But really, in actuality, I put myself at a lot of risk with that battleship uh, to the left uh, and all of a sudden being in all the range of three cruisers. So you're gonna see that I see the buyer in charge up, so I do have to move up some to help him up. And, you know, California is about taking Bayern, so I'm going to help get rid of California. Uh, instead of trying to focus on the cruisers or the aircraft carrier, I'm trying to save my teammate. Um, but I think he goes, like, broadside right in front of the California and loses all of his health, but I still need to get rid of California, finish him off, because, um, you know, California, if you don't know, has good AA, so it's going to be really hard for our aircraft carrier to do it, but you can see we got rid of him. And now in this scenario here, with everybody moving up on my team, I got to support them. I can't just stay back. As much as I would like to not lose this <laughs> by being too aggressive, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a shot on the Devonshire because we haven't shot at him. He's probably not paying attention to us, and now the aircraft carrier is starting to focus on us. You can see we almost completely take out the Devonshire, get her high caliber. But again, four overpins. So, you know, and we do get a Citadel, and this thing can rock a lot of damage, but you got to be careful where you're aiming. I probably should have aimed just slightly a little bit higher. And now the Dallas, I didn't assume he was just going to sit here <laughs> on the first shot. And I thought he was going to go forward more than what he did. As you're going to see, uh, we don't get much damage on that first one. Just one overpin. And um, he kind of just stayed there. So the you, this guy does a good job of, I, I don't know if he's a good player or not, but he sure messed me up. As you see, I'm going to think, oh, he's going to stop, go back forward. Um, and really, I, he does, but he doesn't have propulsion mods, so it's a lot slower than I thought he was. I made the right play, but I thought he would have propulsion mod to go faster, quicker. Now, again, I have two heals. I'm not particularly worried about these fire starters here. I know that sounds crazy, but in these British battleships... Fires aren't that big of a deal because you can heal it all back. As you see, all this damage he's doing, we're going to heal right back. So as I get the Confederate, and, uh, you know, we th this game was a good game in particular because I also did take our cap on A before when we did win it. And now the Ranger is coming into target, and he has been annoying me with his planes. So... Um, you see, I line up just to see, make sure my teammates do get rid of him. And instead of going for Gorky, I go for the aircraft carrier because on my side, there's not a lot of stuff with range. And you see uh, that it just, I am the only shot at the carrier right now. I'm mean, like I said, it's, the carrier is more of a threat to me than uh, the Gorky. So we're going to go ahead and fo focus on uh, the Ranger here. And instead of Gorky, because I have one more heal in 40 seconds. There's no way Gorky's going to kill me with HE that quick. As you can see, we're going to take another shot at the Ranger. 
and uh, and I think he goes dark right before we hit him, but we almost completely kill him. We get two over pens and, and three full pens, and that leaves him with, like, no health. I think he gets spotted here again, and you see he's he's pretty much got no health anymore. Um, but I get ready to take on a Gorky here, and he looks like he's stopping and moving forward, so I send it right in front. Um, and then, then you can see the Ranger shows up again. And, of course, the Ranger has been focused on me a little while, and I only have five sh planes shot down. That kind of tells you how good the AA is. And he's the one doing the damage, as you see. He brought me down to 3,000 health there. It wasn't Gorky, so we're going to go ahead and take out the Ranger. And then, um, then once we take out Ranger, we're going to focus on Gorky here. Um, actually, Gorky did a pretty good job of, of uh, surviving as long as he did with uh, you know, with the destroyer, and I think there was another cruiser shooting at him. Um, so, props to him trying to hold his side. Um, and, you know, he's making it hard for me to shoot. So, I switch over to HE, which I should have done on the shot before that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and switch over to HE because uh, honestly, it, uh, if we can get just a little hit with the HE, that he'll probably be dead. Um, but honestly, like I said, solid game. We took a cap. We, you know, we didn't kill a destroyer, but this is one of the few games where you see I didn't kill a destroyer in something. That's one of my go-to things, even in this. So, um, but you see, we almost killed them again. When a lot of this match, we left a lot of people almost uh, dead. As you see, we get a dreadnought, and I think a... Uh, unsinkable as well. What I don't remember what the last one was, but we got something else there at the end. Oh, fireproof, not unsinkable. Um, you know, almost 3,000 base XP. Let our team help our team out a lot. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time, folks. Have a good one.